Praise Thank the you, Lord. Jesus. I'm telling yes. you what, we're getting the Holy Ghost to dance and shout. I'm going to stay on this side of you. <laughs> Man, enjoying it. Cherie Newman Isabel, yes, this is your debut project, but you've been singing probably since you were two years old, I would imagine. Right? Four. Yeah. Four. <laughs> you close. Yes. Four. So tell us a little bit about your story. What's going on? Well, I, I am so excited. Oh, let me catch my breath. Go <laughs> God is good. <laughs> had to work hard, but I just love the Lord. Um, of course, this is our debut project. Uh, and every song, the title of his life of a worshiper. And every song is linked to an experience or something that's gone on in my life. One of my favorites on there uh, is I'll Always Worship. Tell me the story. Thank on you, that, Jesus. <laughs> I tell you, Jamie had me going in, girl. I know, we all went in. <laughs> I can feel the presence of the Lord so strong. But um, let me jump over here so you can talk oh, to both of us. <laughs> okay. <That'll work. laughs> but um, I'm, of course, been raised in the church. I got married kind of young. Uh, and unfortunately, the marriage didn't work out. Being a ministry leader, that I, I was really hurt. It wasn't messy as far as you know assets and all that stuff, but just being a leader and people looking to you. Absolutely. Uh, I was very hurt. It really messed with me emotionally, spiritually. But I thank God for being a restorer. Amen. And that's one thing the word a word the Lord gave me. He said, "I will restore the years that were stolen from you." Yes. Me. But anyway, I'll always worship was birthed out of that. I'll never forget it. Uh, I got so many testimonies, but I remember the Lord brought to my mind the scripture about David after all that drama with Bathsheba. Yes. Uh, and how the scripture says that, you know, he was fasting for the baby. He thought the Lord would change his mind or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the baby died. And it says he got up, he got himself together. And then he went to the temple and he worshiped. Yes. There it is again. Yes. Something happened. I tell you, it, it, I tell you. How can, it's one thing to worship when you, mm. you it, it's, an, it's one thing to worship when everything's going all right. Yes. But when the baby's dead oh and you God. still got to trust him, where are you going to go? Are you going to blame God, say, why God? Or are you going to go to the temple and worship God? That's deep. I mean, it, that is good. Talk, keep talking, and, keep and, talking. And, and out of that, um, that's where I got... No matter what I go through, I'll always worship you. I, it, and I, that's, that's been one of my personal yes. things. I said, Lord, I'll enter into your gates with thanksgiving. And I'll enter. I don't care who's not praising God. Mm. People laugh at me because I'm a I'm a dancer. Mm. I would have loved to have been with y'all yesterday. Oh, I'm I'm a dancer. Well, you come to this week. <laughs> we do it every week. Yeah. But uh, you know, people laugh at you. But I don't I don't uh -uh. care because like the old saying said, you don't know like I know, I know what the Lord has done for me. That's right. And so I'm just I'm just excited. God has just truly put us put my my husband is my my partner. God bless me oh, wow. even wow. through the midst of all that. God God show sure enough bless me. Amen. Quentin. Great. Amen. Hey boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's why like everybody supporting you tonight. Too. Yeah, so I just, I just, I just thank God and Lord has just so put us in some uh, the past with so many wonderful people and just given us so much favor. But uh, yes, I just, I praise God for that. Just, uh, I'm going to worship God and and that I heard you you all say something that said uh, worshipers get what they want. Yes, See, people don't understand that favor, I know. and they don't understand uh, in the in the previous segment about the sacrifice. Absolutely, when right. you sacrifice, God honors that. He That's will right. consume Absolutely. that sacrifice. Absolutely, and you know uh, who's that bishop? Jake's had the slogan said, favor ain't fair. Yeah, but it what, is real is what I It's say. real, yes, but what people is. don't understand, they, it ain't fair to you either because they don't understand what you had to give up to get oh that favor. Oh, my God, I know. <laughs> they don't understand that. It, it ain't fair both ways. They hating because you, right. they see, the, you <laughs> yeah. know, God's hand on your life. Right. They see, you know, you. They see the now, but they don't see the process. They don't the now. never see the process. Yeah, right. But, you know, I, I thank God for his favor. I thank God for being the God of a second chance. Mm -hmm. uh, I said it a few minutes ago, but I'll never forget I was at my home church. I live in Nashville. But I grew up in a little country city. I love gals. I love y'all. But it was a little country town. <laughs> uh, but 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 I remember I was leading praise and worship there one Sunday, and I was so broken, y'all. I was a leader. I, I I was so used to pouring out to people, but you know sometimes being a leader, I call it the Absolutely. the backhand compliment. People think you're strong, which is a wonderful compliment that they think you're so strong. That's right. But at the same time, you sometimes you don't get the help that you need when you're in the valley. That's the truth. And I remember I was leading the saints there in worship. But me, God and I are having a conversation. And I said, Lord, but I'm so broken. I feel like I've lost so much time. I said, God, how do you get time back? Mm. I've lost all this. Because when you're in the storm, you don't see clearly. No. You don't, you don't, you don't see because it's raining, it's lightning. You don't, you don't see the other side. And you lose uh, the concept of time, if I can say. And, in right. a spiritual sense, yes. you lose the perception of time. And I said, Lord, how do I get time back? And I'll never forget it. God said, I will restore the yes. years. 
oh, every time I say that, it just... And your ladder is greater. It's, it's always greater. Yes, it is. He said, I'll restore the years that were stolen from you. And truly, God has so beautifully restored my life financially, spiritually. You know, I went through a foreclosure, bought a beautiful home. Wow. Lost my home, lost a car. You know, it just, it, it, it's, it's like when it rains, it pours. Absolutely. But I thank God he has so beautifully restored my, I thank God for my now. I give yes, him praise. and I you never lost praise. your faith in him. Never, never. And it got shaky sometimes. I'm sure it did. But you know, there's yeah. something about, we've, we've done many interviews and we've been in ministry all of our lives. And, and every time you see a true anointed worshiper, there's always a story That's and there's right. been a price that they've That's paid. Right. Amen. Because you don't get the anointing like this mm -mm. without paying some prices. Yes, ma'am. And it comes with an expensive price tag. Yes, ma'am. And it, God is looking for people that he can trust, not only trust, but that will allow him to break us in the seasons that we walk through. That's right. So he can install what he needs to put in us so we can help other yes. people. And God knows who he can trust and who he can't to allow us to walk through that stuff. Thank you, Lord. Wouldn't you agree, Sheree, that like Pastor Lana is saying, that... You you sing you sing from a different place now. Yeah. Where before you we all just are guilty of it. You sing for the fun of it. You sing because everybody likes your just voice. That's what you do. You right. sing because it's what you do. There's no real understanding of the worship because, like we said, worship is surrender, submission, sacrifice. Yes. And then when you go through the breakings, as she was saying, and you've gone through, when you come up out of that, all of a sudden your worship means something. Yes. Yeah. And it, it's it's deeper because I, I can I can testify to this guys that. I knew the God of my, my bishop. I knew the God of my Come mom. On. And I've been saved since I was five. I was, right. I was raised up, you know, just, just by, I love my mom. You know, I was raised up. I said I had a drug problem because I was drugged to church. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> but, uh, I, but I, I knew and I was saved and I had a relationship and I loved the Lord with all my heart. But it's something about when you go through those storms. I learned God for Sheree. Yes, yes. ma'am. I didn't, I didn't know the God of my Good. bishop or my mom That's or right. my, my youth leader. I had to learn God. And I, you know, when I tell you this, I learned a different aspect of God. Yes. Because it's something about, you know, when God is blessing you and people love you and things are going good. But then when you see that side, when you need God's mercy, yes. his leniency, you know, his mercy endureth forever. So I saw, I had to learn, uh, even after all those years of, being, years of being saved, I had to learn another side of God. Yes. I had to learn about his compassion. You know, sometimes, and, and I grew up uh, very strict apostolic Pentecostal. I thank God for my foundation. Amen, I, I love it. I, I thank God for Absolutely. the foundation but but sometimes we don't extend the mercy as right. we should we're not as compassionate and I was one of those I had a lot of and I'm I guess the oh Lord I guess I'm confessing That's too all right. Help <laughs> I had out. a lot of spiritual prejudice yes. growing up and the Lord had to break that from me. and it, it's nothing like when 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 you're going through the storm you know sometimes right. we make judgment calls mm -hmm. on other people's and their situations Absolutely. and we don't really know the full details but then when we get in something mm -hmm. we That's want right. somebody to have some mercy on us That's right yeah. <laughs> We don't, we don't want people making judgment calls and mm -hmm. not knowing the full extent. So I, I, I thank God for even learning another side the of God. His side compassion God. side. She's not just a singer. She's I a know. Preacher. You're a preacher, girl. Come on. Well, we don't have about two minutes left. I want people to know how to get this awesome CD, Life of a Worshiper. Yes, you can go to my website, uh, www.shreeisabel.com. S-H-R-E-E, -E, just like it sounds, is a bell. Isabel. Yes. And tell us.